Hi guys. Microsoft Visio is a diagramming tool that allows you to create simple as well as complex diagrams according to your business needs. Visio also enables you to make detailed organization charts, floor plans, pivot diagrams, etc. However, Visio has some limitations, like it does not work on mobile phones and Mac operating systems. Furthermore, this tool does not support a collaborative environment. There are some excellent Visio alternatives on the market. To help you find one, we've listed some of the best Visio alternatives. Watch on to learn more about these providers and find out which one will work best for your needs. So let's get started. The first one on the list is Lucid Chart. The award for number one overall best alternative to Visio goes to Lucid Chart. Lucid Chart is an excellent alternative to Visio and it even performs pretty similarly for the most part. What's even better is the fact that you can open standard Visio files on Lucid Chart allowing you to resume work on a project you're currently involved with. The folks at LucidChart previously wouldn't ask for a sign-up, although new users are now required to create a free account before drawing. While you can still use it without spending a dime, there are some added benefits when you pay for a subscription. However, paid options add up to a lot of money in the long run, which is perhaps the only downside of this service. Some of its standout features include automations for org charts, mind maps, UML sequence diagrams, data linking, and other routine diagramming tasks. Lets you create and edit diagrams offline. Integrates with Google Workspace, Salesforce, Bamboo HR, and other data sources. Export boards from the Lucid Spark whiteboard to create quick diagrams on Lucid Chart. However, you may experience lags when you try to insert high quality images in graphs. In terms of features, Lucid Chart has all its bases covered particularly in terms of editing. You can simply choose to drag and drop objects on your diagram and find all the tools readily available on the screen. There are a bunch of templates to choose from as well, so you're well covered with Lucidchart. While the free service offers collaboration among various users, the paid subscriptions also adds Chart AI as well as Visio Import Stroke Export. If these features are attractive to you, be sure to check out Lucidchart. Quick note, my work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if this video is helpful, you can find links to the websites I mentioned in the video description. If you click those links, I may earn a commission. That helps a lot, thank you. Okay, next, let's talk about ClickUp. ClickUp is a cloud-based, end-to-end productivity and collaboration platform. It comes with ClickUp whiteboards, a visual collaboration tool. Because whiteboards are integrated into the platform, you don't need to switch between various tools when you create workflows, matrices, and mind maps. The notes, picks, documents, and tasks you need to refer to live on a single platform, and you can link to them or insert them into your diagram for a smooth workflow. If you do need to access files from other softwares, like Airtable, Excel, Rike, Trello, or Google Drive, simply integrate them with ClickUp. Some of its standout features include ClickUp mind maps for brainstorming and visualizing ideas, easily drag, drop, and link objects to draw connections and workflows, add context to your diagram by inserting web links, trackable tasks, notes, and images, create a template or choose from dozens on the ClickUp platform, smooth interface for drawing freehand, supports real-time collaboration. However, there are some cons to using ClickUp. The whiteboard tool isn't available on ClickUp's mobile app. It might be overwhelming for new users with little diagramming experience. And for the pricing, ClickUp offers free and paid plans starting at $5 a month if billed annually. Next, we have Miro. More than 45 million users globally use Miro for brainstorming with colleagues and seeing the connections between different ideas. This whiteboarding tool is a popular Microsoft Visio alternative for marketing, UX, engineering, agile, and product management teams. Miro is among the most popular apps on this list, along with Lucidchart. Some of its standout features include super easy to use with minimal learning curve, great for running workshops with an infinite whiteboard, video calls, timer, and voting system, supports text, post-it notes, docs, images, videos, and tagged comments. A hundred plus integrations 
with tools like Zoom, Google Workspace, Jira, and Notion. However, there are some cons to using Miro. Lots of lag when multiple users are using the same canvas. The wide range of features can overwhelm new users and make the UI feel cluttered. You have limited options for customizing templates. And for the pricing, Miro offers free and paid plans starting at $8 per month if billed annually. Next, we have Diagram.net, formerly Draw.io. This is yet another lightweight drawing tool that exists entirely on your web browser, thus giving you the freedom to close and resume work instantly over a web browser. Your work can be synced through cloud services like Google Drive or Dropbox for easy access on the iCloud. When you start creating a new document, Diagram.net will first ask you to specify where you want the project saved, with the options being Google Drive, Dropbox or Device, your computer storage. Given that this is a free offering, it doesn't have the bells and whistles of some of the other services that we're talking about here. However, Diagram.net comes with an expansive list of templates for business charts, as well as projections in the form of graphs, including Venn diagrams. For a free offering, Diagram.net is pretty elaborate, although the user interface is not as good as it could be. If you're looking for a quick sketch or chart, we highly recommend you to use Diagram.net. Then we have Creately. This is an extremely simple surface created for the web that can help you draw up charts and diagrams in no time. It uses a preset of charts and drawings that are already available to help you illustrate your points well. One caveat with Creately is that the free version doesn't support a lot of features, pushing users to pay for their subscription. However, the subscription prices range from $5 to $89 per month if billed annually, which is fairly reasonable considering how other offerings are priced. If you're not a big fan of the web client, Creately also has a desktop app that can offer you more freedom with your projects. The catch here is that you'll be required to pay a one-time fee of $75 for the service, which is not that bad considering how Visio is priced. It's a viable alternative to Visio though, and the addition of a desktop client in addition to a web app makes it appealing to a large group of consumers. However, there are some cons to using Creately, the drag and drop UI is sometimes buggy, resulting in objects not reacting the way you intended them to, occasional saving errors, and can be slow to load large complex diagrams with many objects. So as you can see, Visio isn't the only great app out there. There are plenty of others, even beyond what we've listed here today. Some have features similar to Visio's, others have a completely different set of features and functions. Like I said earlier, my work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if this video was helpful, you can check the links in the description. Again, that helps a lot. Thank you. The point of this video isn't to force you to use something other than Visio, it's simply to consider the other options out there. For some companies, sticking with what's familiar might be worth it, but for others, switching to a new alternative with tools that better suit their needs and goals can help them build their business presence faster. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it more, you can upgrade. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.